Excuse me, Mr. Chandler, could you repeat what you just said? Mr. Chandler is well aware of the slander laws in this country. This is a private conversation, gentlemen, ladies. But on a subject of absolute interest to the public. Subjects of interest will see the light of day, if you'll excuse us. Not if it's suppressed. The public has a right to know, and we have an obligation to investigate. What is going on? Ah, this guy's angling for some kind of story. Why don't you want me to pursue this, Mr. Cortland? This is a party. Because it's true? Because Travis Montgomery committed a felony, a felony somehow involving you? Young man, such grandstanding is grossly irresponsible. I'm not grandstanding. I'm asking a question. <laughs> Senator Montgomery, are you guilty of committing a felony? The most outrageous, most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Well, according to Mr. Chandler... Don't, please, don't put words in my mouth. John, what's going on here? Your husband claims he has enough information to put Travis Montgomery in prison. That is preposterous. And just like him. In point of fact, your boyfriend not only solicited and accepted illegal campaign contributions, he is presently attempting to cover it up. to jeopardize you or Frankie or Pat. How many times do I have to tell you we are not in jeopardy? Well, then I'm not going to impose my problems on you either. You have enough to do with working, raising a Jeff, family. I swear there are times I... He's right. Angie, if it were me, and I knew somebody would... I don't think I'd want them to move in and be near Scott. You people, how... How many times do I have to tell you you cannot get AIDS from casual contact? If you could, we would all have it. There has to be direct exchange of bodily fluids. Blood to blood. Sperm to blood. I don't want the responsibility. Your test results aren't even in. Come on, Angie. I can see it in your eyes, and I know my own body. There's something wrong. There is something wrong with your ears. There is no need for you to leave, no matter what. We're moving. Good night. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know you want to help Cindy. And I have every intention of doing so. She is going to eat at that table. Sleep in that room upstairs. Angela, no matter how much you care about the woman, you, you can't care, care about her more than your own mother, your, your son. Jesse, you of all people, after everything that you have had to fight for in your life, should take this bigoted attitude. Oh, this is an attitude. Angela, you're everything to me. I love you. And I don't want you to die. I'm a soldier. I shoot you. <laughs> not bad, not bad for a gringo. What are you so happy about? Food. Food? Mm-hmm. Where did you get where did you get food? Oh, you know, they have one of those all night, what do you call them? Convenience stores by the river. You do have a <laughs> sense of humor. I don't know. You know, in my family. Well, go ahead, your family. Uh, well, my father was a very funny man. For instance? Why do you have to know everything all the time? Because I like you. Because I want to know more about you. My father wasn't a funny man. He wasn't a funny man at all. He's a nice guy. I mean, he was a good guy. I guess he worked on the farm too much as a kid. Got real serious. <laughs> no, my father, he was a very funny man. Yeah? Yeah, he, he used to pick up a spoon and wrap his handkerchief around it. And Mira, he'd have a puppet. <laughs> he'd make her dance. And she'd get her skirt in the soup, and I would laugh.
You want to get married? Do you have any kids? So they could be killed? So they could go to prison for reading the wrong book? No. You have to have peace to have a family. You also have to have affection. And love. Somebody to care about. I care about my country. Well, I want you to take these antibiotics for the infection. How bad is the infection, doctor? Normal for a wound of this nature. Whoever took out the bullet did a good job. Yeah, well, I had good care. What you need now, senor, is rest and food. Oh, that much we can guarantee. You'll be up and around in a few days. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. Let me show you out. Thank you again. We need to talk. No, up to bed with you. No, 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 we need to talk. Matt, you're gonna go up to bed. We don't have to talk before you feel better. Now, come on. Oh, okay. Matt. All right. Okay. All right. Just lean on me. Okay? I uh, Yeah. The funds were targeted for his final media campaign. They were raised illegally. Tell us how. Yeah, where did you get the information? I'll let you find that out for yourselves. Oh, I see, because he has no proof. Mr. Montgomery then participated in the cover-up. Do you have any evidence of this, Adam? If you want evidence, I suggest you talk to Palmer Cortland. It was his money. Is that true, Mr. Cortland? Did you finance the Montgomery Media Blitz? How were the funds channeled to his campaign? Chandler, you'll hear from my lawyers in the morning. And you'll hear from the FEC and the IRS. Senator Montgomery, will you comment on these charges? No. Mr. Chandler has made some serious allegations, which I will investigate. Then you think there's a basis for these allegations? Well, look who made them. Adam Chandler. Really, I expect better of you people. Need I remind you? That this man kidnapped me. This man kidnapped me merely because I wished to end our marriage. This man would stop at nothing to destroy me, to destroy everyone in my life. The man is ruthless. Well, the man is a sociopath. Erica, if I were you, I would be a little more responsible in my accusations. No, I am being quite responsible. Brooke, don't tell me that you have forgotten how the man built your Aunt Phoebe Wallingford out of that tract of land down by the river. And you, you all wrote essays about how Adam Chandler and, and the profit motive were going to steamroll our community, our homes. Now you tell me you're going to turn around and believe this man? He is irresponsible, Brooke. He is just downright dishonest. And on top of it, this man has now attacked Palmer Cortland, one of the most respected people in our community, and Travis Montgomery, who has just received an overwhelming vote of confidence from the people of this state. Senator Montgomery, do you have anything to say in your defense? Well, I'll tell you. I think Miss Kane just did a pretty admirable job of that herself. Well, Senator Montgomery, how do you think the people of this state are going to react to news of these allegations? Well, they call for an investigation. Will you be able to accomplish anything in Washington with this cloud over your head? Will you be exonerated or are you finished?